What is up guys? Welcome to a workout video. Uh, you guys have been asking for this, especially since I uploaded my uh, returning to bodybuilding question mark video. I uploaded it yesterday. So, you know, as of me recording this, I uploaded a video yesterday. So check that out and then watch this video. But yeah, guys, so they're finally here. The workout vlogs. I'm going to try to get a workout vlog in. I don't know, man. I work out every day, so I could do a video every day, but you know, the gym's full sometimes and sometimes I can't bother film. Uh, right now it's actually 2 a.m., so it's very, very late or very, very early, depending on how you want to look at it. So right now the gym's going to be quite empty, so I can film no problem. But of course, I train at like 3 p.m., you know, 6 p.m. Like the gym's too packed for me to be setting up a camera and filming. So it depends what time I go, but I will try, keyword, try to film consistently for you guys so you guys can see the work in progress because I am really dedicated to this right now. I am feeling like how I used to feel, and it feels quite good, honestly. So... You know, if, if you want to see the boy transform, then, I mean, I'm going to take you on the journey. And if you want to transform with me, then join me on the journey. Get back in the gym, guys. Uh, try to get that water in, like me right now. Uh, I'm doing about two of these a day. Uh, we are looking at, uh, what is this? Uh, how many liters? I don't even know how many liters this is, but, you know, I'm doing two of these a day. It's actually, uh, you know, quite a tall, you know, jug of water. So, uh, two of those a day. I am on five meals a day, probably sitting at around, you know, 220 grams of protein. Uh, push in possibly 300 grams of carbs and around 70 grams of fat a day. So doing that, but my workout is quite intensive. So I do need the calories in order to fuel the workout. So I'm not excessively eating. I'm eating enough for to maintain my activity level. Uh, might have to bump the food up a little bit more because I am training quite hard. So the more calories for me, the better or the more fuel I will have in order to burn in the, in the to work out in the gym. Anyways, gonna go to the gym, hit some chests. And shoulders guys and uh enjoy the footage probably gonna do some commentary of the footage and everything so be looking out for that and whatever the audio right now probably is not amazing because i'm using my camera audio so yeah uh you know so. anyways guys so one second i'll be right back you, you play, play me. So I was thinking about how to actually do these videos. I'm probably just going to have the workout footage in the back and then I'm probably just going to have my commentary like I'm doing right now so I can talk to guys through what I'm, what I'm thinking about, what I'm doing, the exercise and why and everything else. So I'll start out with some incline here. I actually started out with some warm-ups, but I didn't film that portion of the workout. I uh, did about three sets of push-ups, three sets of pull-ups, and three sets of standing military press with the bar alone. No weight on the bar. Just just to get the movement pattern in, just to kind of uh, warm up a little bit. Uh, start off some incline here, very light incline, really focusing on the stretch, the very slow contraction on the bottom. As you can see, I'm going very slow and trying to push up as fast as possible. So very, very slow negative and not, not a super fast positive, but I try to have a bit of a push to the positive. So you, you'll notice that the bar moves faster than it comes down. So, you know, that's just me trying to control the weight as it comes down so I can get a proper stretch. I can feel the muscle. And the point of working out is that you want to tear the fibers down, okay? You have fibers in your muscle, you know, in your chest, shoulders, wherever. You are, you really want to focus on the negative portion of any exercise you do and really feel those fibers. So that's what I'm trying to do here. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. So I go down as slow as I can and I push up. Now, the weight for me, um, <laughs> this actually felt, felt out quite heavy. Like in the UK... They use uh, kilograms, and I'm not used to kilograms. I use pounds. So coming here, everything's in kilograms. It, it just blows my mind. And I, I don't understand what I'm lifting. I really don't. But all the weight here feels so damn heavy. Like, it is just, like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I think their conversion of kilograms is more than what pounds were. Like, you know, all although I have a plate, which is the same size as, like, a 45-pound plate back home, here it's, like, 50 pounds, man. It's, like, heavier. So everything is heavier. So right now I have uh, one plate on each side, and uh, this felt pretty good actually. I love doing incline and then going into a flat movement. And the reason why I do that is because my upper chest is weak, and I need to build my upper chest before anything else. Uh, now I actually did two plates here. Now back home, this would be 225 pounds. This felt like freaking 300 pounds, my boy. <laughs> this felt damn heavy. Uh, once again, kilograms for me, I'm not used to it. Like at this gym, uh, at this gym specifically, they have two types of plates. They have 20-pound plates and 25-pound plates. They're the same size. They're literally the same freaking size. So I don't know if I'm lifting 25 or 20 or 20 pounds or whatever, but the, everything here feels so heavy. So back home, like 225 for me, I can get for like 12 reps. Here, I barely managed to get like five. So I don't know, man. The weight's heavy, but, you know, I moved on to a very isolated movement here for the upper chest. I did plenty of heavy weight. 
I did uh, about four sets of the flat bench, four sets of the incline. And for me, the incline I aim for about that, you know, eight, 12 rep range. The flat bench was a little heavier for me. So around that four to eight, rep, uh, four to eight rep range. Now coming here, really focusing on the isolation uh, exercise to really feel that upper chest, feel the upper portion of my shoulders, my front delts, uh, even get some tricep contractions inside as well. As I come up, I uh, try to squeeze. And when I squeeze, I don't just try to squeeze my chest, I try to squeeze everything. Like for me, when I work out, I don't have just chest day or back day. I have what I like to call, well, you know, it's not what I like to call, it's what it's called push pull leg. So I'll have like a push day, I'll have a pull day and then I have a legs day. So for me, I'm trying to really work on some very important pushing movements. So bench press, you know, very powerful pushing movement, uh, incline bench press, powerful pushing movement. Right now I'm doing some shoulder presses here, light shoulder presses, but shoulder presses nonetheless. So it's really more so a push workout than just a chest isolation workout. So I actually supersetted my shoulder press here with some lateral flies. So as you can see, I go into a set of, uh, you know, shoulder presses and, uh, you know, I'll probably get like, you know, 10 to 12 to 15 reps. And then immediately I go into some very light shoulder flies for about, you know, 10, 12 reps as well. And the reason for that is I want to burn down or I want to beat down as many fibers as possible. Like, you know, when you do the shoulder presses, you know, I tear the muscle down, but this is going even further beyond just like Goku, even further beyond that push limit. Uh, and then we finish off some push-ups here. Anyways, guys, very, very quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah! I will not let you destroy my world!